Alright, are we ready? Yeah. I'm just going to start it. Baby, I'm cool and I'm dead tonight. But you don't need me like I need you. Pray that I won't be alone. Baby, I'm cool and I'm dead so, tonight. So, we're going to talk about like I need you really quick. Um, so it starts out with this really chilled out vocal sample, you know, four bar loop. And what I did here was that in order to create this kind of telephone, like you're speaking over a telephone or like through a megaphone kind of feeling, it's really easy. You just drop the lows, you drop the highs and you boost the mids. So it creates this nostalgic kind of feeling, I guess, right? And then the next thing that we did was that we added the at least for the intro part, I wanted the sample to kind of shine and then kind of take you away with the vocals, you know. So right here, you've got, you know, let's solo it out really quick. You got your kick, your snare, you got your triangle, hats, 808s, it's your, it's your bread and butter, you know chimes, snap, just to name a few things, you know. Kind of getting into it, you've got the verse vocal coming in, right? So I think that was, when I first wrote this song, I wasn't really that happy with it until I decided to chop up the sample and interject it while I had my verse vocals going because I hadn't tried that before. So when I managed to figure out some good chops and throw them in, I was like, whoa, this is actually really, really cool, you know? So you'll hear the vocal sample pop in every now and then, right, right there, you know? Right over here. And then going into the chorus, we've got a couple of things. So there are a lot of things that kind of help push it to the next kind of segment of the song, right? First part was this like falsetto. Then you've got this riser, not a riser, but kind of like a kind of takes you across the audio spectrum. Can't I don't know what the fuck to call it, riser, right? Right, there we go. <laughs> um, and another thing that I thought was really cool, I don't know if you've ever heard, um, have, you, have you heard that, that song, Frank Ocean, uh, Nights? So, um, like, there's two parts of it. And when it switches to the second part of the song, there's this weird kind of, like, sound that breaks everything apart and pushes it to the next segment. So, I call this, <laughs> I titled the track Nights Beat Switch, because I wanted it to have that same kind of effect, but what it is is essentially like a DJ boards, like scratch sound. And when you combine it with the kick, you know, you get this. So combining it with the guitar at the same time, you know, you get this cool kind of like 90s kind of effect, you know. And when it goes into the second chorus, there's actually something else. I'm not sure if I put it into both. Yeah, it's only for the very last chorus. I have this kind of snare roll that goes down in pitch, you know? And I feel like you hear it in trap a lot. So I wanted to kind of throw it in to this kind of older vibe. And the combination was actually really cool. So it sounds like this. So all I did was I got a snare sound, I threw it onto a keyboard roll and pitched it down. As it went down, you know, sped it up, slowed it down. And you get that cool little 
little sound that kind of hypes you up for the, the big drop, you know? So all together. Oh, good. Sick. Yeah. I like it.